Hi, my name is Yoel Silver, and I'm a professional comedian. You're probably wondering where you saw me before. Well, that's because you probably saw me in a new Shane Dawson video. He put me in his video without ever asking me, and honestly, I think that's a violation of my privacy. Nah, I'm just kidding. Thank you so much for that. You actually brought a lot of traffic towards me, and I'm really grateful for that because currently, I'm on a journey to get as many views as possible in the smallest amount of time possible. And you brought a lot of good attention towards me, and you know, the views are trickling down, and I really appreciate that, so thank you. But at the same time, I wanna show you my appreciation by drawing you, Shane Dawson. I wanna draw you, okay? Like, I'm a really good artist. I recently just drew Joe Rogan, and I actually sold that painting for $200,000. Huh, believe it or not, I made a whole video about it. Now, I don't know how much I'm gonna sell this Shane Dawson painting, but stick around till the end because I'm not sure how good it's gonna come out, but I'm really confident with my artistic skills that I think you would really appreciate it, so, um, yeah, this is just a token of my appreciation. Thank you so much, Shane. So last time when I did this, I, di I started up with Joe Rogan's face. Joe Rogan is the only other artist that I've ever drew. But this time, I wanna start with the actual body and then work up to the face, okay? So I wanna draw outline of Shane Dawson's attire. Now, when I think of Shane Dawson, I think of like black colors, which is why we're gonna be drawing in black right now. Wow, yeah, from my 10 plus years of knowing about Shane or you know, remembering Shane, I would have to say that I don't think I've ever saw him wear any bright colors. Shane is a very dark type of person. I'm the same exact way. I've just been forcing myself to wear lighter colors lately. And honestly, I've, I have been happier. So uh, let's go ahead and do this. Also, whenever I think of Shane recently though, I always think of him like in a robe, like that robe attire is kind of dope. Really sets him apart. That's what we're gonna be doing here. Can you see that? Cause now it started and this is not like Photoshop. Like I cannot erase mistakes. There is no control Z here. So I have to really, really make sure that I get this correctly. There's no mistakes when it comes to art. Ta-da! This is the outline of the robe. At least the outer part so far. Okay, I had to move the camera down a little bit so you can see the actual bottom of the painting. This is where the robe is gonna like end right here and then his pants are gonna go like right here. The shirt's gonna be like right here. I'm not gonna draw his arms. I don't think that's really necessary, but I made a crucial, crucial mistake. The shirts are usually black. The actual robe is usually gray. So I'm gonna invert that and give him all a little unique spin on it. So the shirt's gonna be gray this time while the robe is gonna be all black. This is how we solve problems in the real world, by the way. Sometimes you just gotta compromise in life. And this is one of them compromises. Even though I'm such a good artist, I really don't know how to make colors. I still have to Google how to do that. So on Google, nobody ever gives you a straight answer. They tell you like warm or colors, non warm or colors. Like bro, speak to me like a human. I speak English, my man. And I need you to tell me how to make gray the simplest way possible. So one person said, if you take blue and black, you'll make gray. This is a very bluish gray though. So not really what I was aiming for, but like I said, compromises and we'll compromise where we have to. Just to get what we need to in life, you know, like you can't have your cake and eat it too every time. Every doesn't work that way, ladies and gentlemen. And I, oop, there's a shirt. It is mwah. Very proud of myself for this one. Next, we're gonna do the jeans. Now the jeans are gonna be the easiest thing to do because it's just a regular blue. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this extremely dark blue, mix it in with white so it becomes like a light blue. Watch, it's gonna look really good. Levi Denim Company. You know Levi's? Y'all need to call me because I just created a brand new blue that will look amazing on your jeans. I'll show you on this painting. Wow. Wow, you can't really see that on the camera, but if you're humanized right here, wow. Never seen a prettier blue in me whole life. Okay, the pants aren't shaping up the way that I want them to, and I'm gonna have to come up with a clever way to fix this, but I'm a problem solver and you guys know that. So, I mean, I've solved other problems in my life before, 
like one time let's see i got a three day in school suspension right but my school had this thing where like if you obeyed the rules while you're in the in school suspension they'll let you out 20 percent early so they already had a chart if you're in there for three days you'll be out by like lunchtime. Like everything was already like pre-calculated for you. So when you get there, you know, if you behave, oh, well, if I behave and then they're in for three days, instead of being here for the whole three days, I'm only going to be here until lunchtime. And then I get to see all my friends. Yay. And not me, ladies and gentlemen, I did not accept that 20% nonsense. I actually did the math and I found out that um, if you actually behave, 20% is not lunchtime on the third day. 20% is second period on the third day so i was out of there by the second period on the third day because i obeyed the rules and i showed the math to the guidance counselor in there she took me aside and she said you don't tell this to anybody the math added up you know you're supposed to be out of there by second period not after lunch so i don't know where they get off to make children sit in a room where they can't talk for an extra four hours against their own will when they're telling them if you behave you'll be able to leave earlier so if i was able to get out of that i'm gonna get out of this one way or another <laughs> Ta-da! Now I just gotta make the black outline around the pants so you can actually tell that there's a, you know, there's two legs right there. Beautiful. Next, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna go for the shoes. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the shoes and wish me some luck. I was never good at drawing shapes. So the shoes that Shane Dawson wears, I'm just going off of memory right now. I'm not even gonna Google it. But I believe Shane Dawson is the type of guy to wear Converse's or Vans. They kind of look the same in my opinion. They've always been in competition against each other. So I'm going to just draw a skater boy shoe because that's what that is at the end of the day. It's skating shoes, I think. Not going to lie, this is actually shaping up to be pretty cool looking. <laughs> just because it feels spontaneous. Let's go ahead and also draw his shape, the, the shape of his head. Now, I don't want to disrespect Shane Dawson, so don't think this is any disrespect, but I'm gonna draw your head like a regular head. Oh my goodness, is this really how they do it in art school? I wouldn't know, I've never went to art school. I believe if you have to go to art school, you've never heard of this website called youtube.com where they literally, if you type in whatever you want, somebody out there will teach you it for free, way better than a teacher could. That's getting paid weekly, weekly to teach people things. And yet for some reason, nobody can learn from them, but some random dude in his mom's garage or his mom's basement can teach me how to be a Photoshop editor way better than somebody that I have to pay $70,000 for to get a degree. And plus, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, when you go and apply for jobs, nobody even cares if you have an artistic degree. Unless you went to like the most pristine of pristine schools. They're just gonna check if you can edit, by the way. Don't wanna sound like, a Debbie Downer, but I think I did a pretty good job of drawing his head as well. Wow, this is coming out way better than my Joe Rogan painting. See what happens when you apply yourself? Okay, next I wanna draw his hair. So Shane Dawson has beautiful brown hair. Luckily for me, I have a whole paint of, um, of, of, of paint that's already brown. It's called Van Dyke Brown. So let's see if Van Dyke Brown will look good on Shane Dawson. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Shane Dawson's hair. Now, People would say that it looks like there is a bird laying on top of his head. But that is not true because we all know the birds are actually non-existent. Um, all the birds died during the Reagan administration. And now the birds that you see around are just clones of birds. And they're actually working for the bourgeoisie. Somebody had to say it. Now it's time to draw his skin tone. I, I had a very hard time coming up with um, the correct skin tone here. So what I did was, is um, obviously Shane is white. So I mean, I did my best. So if it doesn't come out looking exactly like Shane, it's okay. It's an art project. Um, and art is valued by what you see it as. And I think this is Shane, so therefore this is amazing. Sorry, but I'm not really sorry. You know, it's a lot of hard work for a simple painting. This is why it's gonna cost a little bit more than what I originally anticipated for this painting to cost. So I don't know, I'm thinking about starting the bid. I still don't know because 
We're not even close to being done. But I'm telling you, once this is gonna be done, it's gonna look exactly like Shane Dawson. It's gonna look pretty cool. I made a mistake here, and a little bit of the black paint, like, got like right where the mouth should be. I think I'm just gonna keep that there. So it looks like Shane Dawson's mouth is going, oh. Cause Shane Dawson is the type of guy to always be shocked. So I don't know, you tell me. Leave a comment down below what you think. I think the only logical thing would be the color in the eyeballs. You know, those white dots that we all have on our faces. I have some right now. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you have eyeballs as well. Um, luckily for us, eyeballs are just a straight color so we don't gotta do no color combinations. We can literally just put the eyes right on them. You can't even tell the difference anymore. This is starting to look really good. So only thing we really left to do now is to paint his shoes red and color in the robe. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the shoes. Now you might be thinking, yo, why are you gonna color your shoes red for? Um, that's because red shoes are the bomb, my guy. Um, I don't know. I just want something to like pop out, give them all like little like unique spin on things. I think your shoe should always be something that um, stands out about you. It's really important, it protects your feet. Your feet is what holds your whole pillar up and your body is a temple. So make sure that whatever your temple is standing on is always noticeable. My name is Joel Silver and I'm running for president in 2020. I'm just kidding, I'm Canadian so I can never be president. The shoes honestly don't look half bad. If you were to ask me where he got these shoes from, he got them from Balenciaga, Louis Vuitton, or Gucci, maybe Alexander Wayne. Um, these are obviously designer. The more that I keep looking at it from a viewer's perspective, this is how you're gonna see it back at home, the more I'm like, wow. Wow. I made this from nothing, from thin air, I made this. There used to be nothing on here and it, came, it went from here to here, that's so cool. So, so cool. I used to have a crush on this girl and she really liked Shane Dawson. Um, this was when I was like, like 10th grade or something, right? Like she really liked Shane Dawson. I know this cause she used to send me Smosh videos and Onision videos. You know, back in like their like, I guess like infant, like YouTube infancy prime. And she, she messaged me when she saw me in the Shane Dawson. Um, and she was like, wow, I was watching the new Shane Dawson doc and you're in it. Congratulations. And I'm like, honestly, like you broke my heart. So uh, uh, I'm just kidding. It's like a surreal moment because that video is like number one trending on YouTube and everything that Shane Dawson does seems to like really work out well for him. The internet really likes Shane Dawson. And I mean, there's a reason why he's been on it for so long without falling off. There's so many people that started at the same time as Shane Dawson that aren't even around anymore. I can name them, but you probably never even heard of them. There has been so many YouTube clicks and stories and eras. And I've been through almost all of them. Like I sat back and witnessed the whole thing so far. And I mean, I was fortunate enough that when I was growing up, I didn't shy away from the internet. I jumped head first. And a lot of people my age, you know, I'm, I'm 26 years old. Like some people just aren't as inclined with like the internet culture as, uh, as some are. I'd say there's less people inclined with internet culture than there's people that, that aren't. And the generation that watches the most YouTube videos are like younger kids, like probably like between like 13 to like 16 years old. And then the super young kids that watch like the Jake Pauls and, and the Logan Pauls. But like those kids, I'd say like 90% of them are probably inclined to like internet culture. Like 90% of them know about memes, 90% of them keep up with the social influencer while my generations i'd say it's like 60 percent keep up with like online things and 40 percent just never cared and in 20 years from now get, they're gonna be the ones that are gonna like go to the verizon store and ask them oh my god i <laughs> can't log in because i forgot my email password I, I already got friends in their 20s that are like that that's terrifying how are you gonna live in a new world when you're not embracing the way the world is changing Sad, man, it's, it's a little bit sad. And if you understand what I'm saying, this isn't mumbo jumbo, then you need to press the subscribe button because it's pretty relatable. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is a perfect representation of Shane Dawson. Pretty much the father to all YouTubers. He's like every YouTuber's dad, straight up. <laughs> every time there's a YouTuber with like a problem or something serious, he's always there to like document it and make sure the world hears the real story. 
He's a, like a 21st century journalist. He's setting the groundwork for what journalism should be like. Entertaining, but also informative. And you guys know that really famous painting? I think it's called The Screaming Man. I'm gonna put it um, on the screen right here. Tell me it doesn't kind of look like that. And at the same time, if Shane Dawson had one picture that could represent him at all times, wouldn't it be that Screaming Man? I think I nailed it. This is like a combination of both of them combined. Only thing left to do is to put my signature on here now. Y S original. That signature right here is the reason why this is worth something now. I took this from my head and I created it. And the butterfly effect that caused this to even be made, like the butterfly effect that caused me to turn on this camera and draw this, you are a part of. Everything is beautiful. Everything is connected. And isn't that art? So because of that, I think we need to sell this, okay? So this painting, I'm gonna put the price tag of $200,000. You know what, if I was able to sell my Joe Rogan painting for that much, I can definitely guarantee that this is worth just as much. Even though this painting is a lot better than the Joe Rogan painting, and um, if you wanna buy it, leave a comment down below letting me know that you wanna buy it. If not, I'm gonna give it like 10 days. If it doesn't get sold between 10 days, I'm gonna give it away to the funniest comment in the comment section. So tell me a joke, tell me a meme, make me laugh so hard that tears come down my eyes if you want me to ship you this painting of Shane Dawson. And also, um, if you know Shane Dawson or you know how Shane Dawson can actually see this video, let him know that I made this. Dude, this is a token of my appreciation, man. Like, I, thank you. Thank you so much for putting me in your video. Like, I'm honestly thankful. And my name is Yola Silver. I am a professional comedian. Leave a comment down below if you enjoyed that video. Please like the video and subscribe so you can see more videos. Um, I have a bunch of videos on this channel. You should definitely check them out.